Here we are at Silver Glen Springs. We went on a weekday on a Monday and it was, you know, a little bit crowded, not too bad. You can see that there's people here, but it was overall very nice. I think it was $7 per person. Um, I think it's $10 on the weekends, but look at that water. It's crystal clear blue. It was about 81 degrees outside, but the water was, it was chilly. It was, I think 72 degrees, even with our shorty wetsuits on, uh, we got, we got cold. So note to self next time, we're going to be wearing the full body wetsuits. As you can see though, we um, were able to go down to the mouth of the spring. It was really, really cool to go down that far. All the fish that were down there, the bass, they didn't seem like they were scared of people at all. Very used to us. Just look at all those fish. As you can see, our girls had so much fun twirling and swirling around underwater. It was incredible. We highly recommend this springs for families, anyone. It's just a blast. Swimming down to the mouth of the springs was amazing. My husband was able to do it far better than me because he wasn't wearing a wetsuit, but it was amazing. Check out that cute little crab. So cute. The water hadn't been as chilly as it was, we could have done this all day. We spent about two hours doing this until the girls had uh, frozen themselves to death. So like I said, next time we'll be better prepared. Some interesting information about the springs includes that 65 million gallons of water a day come out from the two spring vents. At the southwest corner of the spring pool is a small spring vent called the natural well, which contains fish and the occasional manatee. It is not accessible by water to protect the natural habitat, but can be seen from land. Sometimes large schools of striped bass travel from the lake to the head spring, just as I've shown. Also tilapia can be seen going to the spring and building nests. Mullet can be seen as well. There is an immense cave system under the picnic area adjacent to the spring. While scuba diving is prohibited into the mouth of the springs, we did recently watch a video where researchers were given permission to enter the springs. Their footage shows this massive cave system, and wow is it incredible. At this section of the springs, there were really warm patches of water. It felt really good to warm up for a little bit. This section of the springs had some strange grassy formations. 
the mullet seemed to really like this spot. As you can tell, we just had so much fun. We enjoyed zigzagging and exploring through these strange plant formations. There wasn't anyone swimming over in this section of the springs, which was very nice. We could definitely feel the current coming out of the mouth. This spring is a first magnitude spring in the largest of the springs and defined as springs that discharge at a rate of at least 2,800 liters of water per second. I'm not sure which springs we're going to venture to next, but we sure are excited to explore more. Hope this was enjoyable to watch and stay tuned for our next adventure.